Hey everyone, Gretchen Wegner here, academic life coach, and I just got done with a session with a college student who has to study for a biology lab practical exam. And this college student was like, how do I study for this? Like, I know how to memorize information when I have to take multiple choice tests, but how do I actually like review all the labs uh, in a way that I am able to take this exam? So we came up with an interesting solution and I wanna share it with you all in case it inspires you for uh, some of your own test studying. Uh, we made a chart if I can position myself here, good. Okay, so we made a chart where uh, we figured out that one of the things she needs is to, there we go, <laughs> is to figure out what her main procedures are for each lab. So like for lab number one, she looks at it and she's like, oh, if I want to figure out this X process, I'm gonna need to go through these procedures. And so she writes those in this box. Then over here, what are the relevant calculations and formulas that she learned that she needed to use during that lab and write those here? Then over here, what are the main takeaways from the lab? Like the two or three big ideas her teacher wanted her to know, which is why they had them do the lab in the first place. And then finally, I don't know if you can read my handwriting here, <laughs> but um, a paragraph about how I arrived at those calculations to make sure that she understood all of the processes. So if she reads through each of her labs and fills in the chart for lab one, two, three, et cetera, all the way down to lab eight, uh, then she will probably have a complete uh, understanding of everything her teacher wanted her to know. So then we broke that down into days. You can see right here at the bottom, actually I'll just show you close up. Uh, we started with Wednesday right here. That's actually today, the day I'm making this. And the exam is on Tuesday. So she doesn't have a lot of time, Tuesday, right there. Uh, so she realized that she needs to do labs number one through four. She needs to fill out the chart tonight, actually. And then labs five through eight, she needs to fill that out on Thursday. She knows she's going away for the weekend, so she's planning on not doing any homework there. And then on Monday, she's going to review the chart that's hopefully finished being made by then and actually rewrite, like fill out a blank version of this entire chart to just test herself to make sure she knows it. All along, she needs to do the calculation practice because she needs to know how to use the formulas. And then on Tuesday, she'll take the exam. So in 15 minutes, we were able to take this like, oh, I have no idea how to study for this, and break it down into a really specific process. It's nice to have a chart with blank spots in it because then you can tell that you're studying or you can tell yourself in the next hour, I'm gonna fill out these chunks you know, on, on the chart. And uh, it's just satisfying to the brain to kind of fill in a chart, at least for many people. So we'll see how this goes, but she at least is feeling much more motivated to go ahead studying. So if you have any questions, always feel free to email me at Gretchen at GretchenWegner.com and uh, check out all of my free resources that are on my website. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.